Hey, it's Kay Nicole Sims, and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. I decided that I wanted to start a vanilla gameplay, which is a gameplay that has no mods or no CC, because I basically haven't played vanilla since I started playing The Sims 4 about six years ago. I've had mods and CC downloaded ever since, and I kind of forgot how to play without them. I don't even really know what like is just in the base game because I'm so used to playing with um, mods and CC in my game. So what I did was I created this newly engaged couple for my gameplay. And basically their backstory is they're um, a young couple. They basically got engaged fresh out of high school. That's pretty much what happened. And they decided to move all the way to the big city of San Myshuno away from all of their friends and family. And they have this little uh, cute two bedroom. Um, so here's their room. And then they just have this empty room because what would they do with the room? I've kind of been thinking about maybe they should get a roommate since that is um, something you can do uh, in the base game now, which I've never really tried out that feature more than maybe a couple times so I don't really know all that's entailed with roommates I have heard horror stories about the roommates but I've been thinking about that to help them save money because as you can see they only have $81 they don't have any money um, but here's the rest of their cute little apartment uh, their kitchen their little tiny living room um, and the bathroom I do love um, doing like regular household stuff in the sim so i do have laundry um and when they have some money i'm gonna get them a vacuum hopefully before it gets too dusty and dirty in here because i don't like that it kind of bothers me how dirty it can get in the sims that quickly that's not how it works in the real world but you know the sims everything's a little bit more fast paced than the real world but i'm gonna go ahead and have um rylan go ahead and start brewing some coffee so I did go ahead and give them jobs already and he is starting off as a substitute teacher and that's what he's starting off as because honestly I don't really know what I want him to do as a career uh career wise he might want to attend college which is why I just have him as a substitute teacher right now maybe he wants to do something later in the future but this is the career he has for now you know they're a little fresh out of high school so of course they're a young couple around like 19 years old is what I would say um, but they did go ahead and save up money from their little teenager jobs and got them an apartment and then we have Lyric and she also has a job at the moment as um, she did get a job as a writer's assistant eventually when her writing skill gets higher I want her to go ahead and switch over to the freelance career and I do want her to write um, books. I'm not quite sure what type of books I want her to write at the moment, but I do want her to write books um, eventually for a living to make more income. And let me hurry up and pause this because he has to go to work in an hour. And so I can show you guys his skills. So he's a goofball. He is cheerful. And he is family oriented. He really wants to build a family with Lyric um, and grow their family pretty fast. She, not necessarily, she's a little more career oriented. As you can see, she is ambitious. She's a perfectionist and she's also a music lover. She loves music, she loves singing and dancing. Um, but she also has a passion for writing. As I said, she wants to be an author and she's never really been too interested in going off to university or, you know, taking any online classes or anything of that sort. But Rylan is kind of interested in going off to university. He just isn't sure what he wants to do yet um, for a future career, which is why we have not 
enrolled him in any classes or anything um, of that sort yet. But, and I think I've never tried university without, you know, mods or CC without being able to cheat. And so that may be something fun we could try. He is hungry. Um, he's probably just going to have to be hungry because he's going to work in a little bit. Um, we do have food that he cooked last night. So let's see if he has time to eat some. We'll find out. I'll let him grab a serving. And I'll also have her grab a serving as well. She doesn't have to go to work until um, 11 o'clock. So she'll have some time to maybe do some things around the house after he leaves. When they do get off work, I do want them to explore San Myshuno a little bit more. I have them basically move to San Myshuno because I figured if I'm playing a base game, um, not a base game, a vanilla game, I want them to have as many opportunities to interact with people and to see a little bit more excitement in a game without mods and CC. So I had to move to San Myshuno because um, a lot of things can happen in San Myshuno that don't happen anywhere else. Why are you just standing there? Yes, eat your food. Okay, and so Rylan is off to work. We're going to have him work hard because they don't have any money. So the sooner they can get a raise, the better. Granted, they don't really have money to do any of these other things. Um, I don't know where you even get the teacher's pad folio. It's probably in his inventory. I don't know, I didn't check. But they don't own a um, computer or anything of the sort. I'm gonna have you get ready for your day. So you're gonna go ahead and you'll take a quick shower because your hygiene is pretty good. And then we're gonna have you go ahead and actually start this laundry since you're home. We can search pockets, absolutely, because we don't have any money. I'm actually pretty excited about this little gameplay that I'm doing. I'm calling it a gameplay, not an LP, because I'm not even sure I have time for an LP at the moment. Um, as some of you may know, I am in grad school, and so I'm not sure I have time to necessarily call this an LP and, you know, post all the time, but... I am going to call it a gameplay because I do want to play um, with the vanilla game. Um, as I said, we're going to have you do this laundry. So you're going to add it to wash machine. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, I do want to explore The Sims without mods and CC because obviously there was some reason I was intrigued and interested and wanted to play before downloading mods and CC. And so... I think it'll be cool to remember all of those good things about the game without, you know, cheating and modding and all that other stuff. Now, I was kind of thinking that, I don't know, like just not having MCC Command Center in the game was, is the most, is the hardest part. Like, honestly, I don't really use too many mods, I don't think, and I'm exaggerating because I know that I have at least 20 different mods in my game, but most of my mods don't necessarily change the gameplay drastically. It says, let's sweat. What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Lyric feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace with her astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes fitness? Yeah, we could say, say that she likes fitness, of course. I don't know if she had coffee or not. She's scared of the thunderstorm. I don't necessarily like this um, moodlet because why is everyone scared of thunderstorms? Like in real life, everybody's not scared of thunderstorms, you know, only some people are. Um, but she's going to go ahead and watch some TV um, this morning before she has to go to work. She's watching romance and she has work in an hour. She's not going to work from home. I don't know if this will it didn't give me the option for her to work from home but she doesn't even they don't even own a computer now which is part of the reason why she had to join the writing career because they can't afford a laptop at the moment and so she can't really start writing her books until they save up some money and she can get a laptop granted I could have you know made their apartment a little less furnished but honestly there's really nothing in here 
um in the first place it's i didn't even get to decorate this other room because they didn't have any money but we're gonna go ahead and let her watch tv until it's time for her to go to work um but like i said i do want her to become a writer at her own will i want her to either seek out a publisher or self-publish um, and i do want her to join the freelance career because then she won't have to go to work all the time especially if they get to the point where once they get married and then they start having kids and stuff like that it would be great if one of them could stay home and if he stays in the teacher career it's not it doesn't seem too likely that he'll be able to stay home. That laundry moved really fast. I wonder if she has time to do that before she has to go to work. We're going to put it in the dryer. Okay. No, we're not. We're not going to put it in the dryer. All right, you guys. So Rylan is back from work. And he didn't really make a lot of money. But honestly, he's a sub. So um, wouldn't expect him to make that much money. I really wanted him to go and explore Damn, I should know, but look, it's raining. <laughs> Nobody's outside because it's raining, obviously. And so that really kind of put a damper on um, what I had planned today for my Sims. But he's going to go ahead and you're going to eat peas. That's what you're going to eat. That's what you're going to eat. Like, that's what you were craving for peas. Whatever. So he's going to go ahead and eat some peas. That's so weird. And then we're gonna tackle some of his needs. Part of the reason I like vanilla gameplay is because it does force you, I guess is the word. It does force you to focus on their needs a lot more because you can't really cheat them. I mean, you can still use cheats, but it's a little more d difficult to use cheats without mc command center um okay and he started the dishwasher on his own great and we're gonna have you clean that because that stinks i really wish that it was not raining because like it's four o'clock and they could do some stuff maybe when she gets home at seven they can oh because it's friday and she doesn't work tomorrow and he doesn't work tomorrow, of course, because he gets, you know, weekends off. And so maybe we could have them go out, explore a bar or something when they get home. Why can't you grade the homework? I'm confused. Whatever. I'm not going to deal with it. This is your work outfit. That's what you wear to school as a substitute teacher. Mm, no, <laughs> whatever. They did meet a couple of people when they first moved here because, you know, in The Sims, people like to barge in your apartment. Yeah, without asking. And so he met this guy named Daryl. Uh, they seem to be kind of getting along. But as you can see, you know, they only talk to these people for a little bit. They met Don. Um, I do have a couple of the OG Sims in this save, but for the most part... I'm just gonna put my own sims in here because I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I've never really cared too much for um, the lore of all of the base game sims. They've never really intrigued me as much as they intrigue a lot of other people, but you know, they also met Nina. So I do, like I said, have a couple of them in the game that we'll be able to see, but for the most part, um, it's just a base game save without all of those people now where are you going oh you have to go to body okay well i want your wife your <laughs> i was about to say wife your future wife i'd like your fiance to go ahead and get home so you guys can go somewhere all right and so lyric is uh, finally home from work she works so late and so i'm gonna go ahead and have them travel somewhere i honestly don't know what's in this save to be honest but we're still gonna have them travel and we're we'll see what's there and i guess we can invite hmm, should we invite daryl he'll kind of be like a third wheel i think they're just gonna go and they'll see if they can maybe meet some people somewhere stop talking so you guys can go it's already seven o'clock it's getting late 
it's getting late okay so i had them go to this lounge and it's still irritating because i forgot it was the stupid rooftop lounge and so i can still hear all this rain and it's pretty annoying but i'm gonna have her order a drink and who is singing katrina is singing she can't really sing but whatever um why are there only elders coming here and they're supposed to be trying to meet people but maybe not because no one's here nancy's here i i do need to put some more um sims in this game but it's fine they can just get drinks and uh talk to each other invite to stay the night girl y'all live together now since it's so weird but yeah i'm gonna have them go ahead and see i hate that bootlet so much who are you can we be friends you're an adult not a young adult uh, we can still be friends maybe i don't know oh my gosh why is the seat backwards and this is this is in this how the pack came with this seat backwards why would they think that's okay? Whatever, I'm not changing it. So they can just talk like that, but they're gonna enjoy their drinks. They're gonna talk. Um, it seems like they're talking to her. So maybe I can go in and just edit her and make her look a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit her. I kind of forgot how to use um, full edit mode um, <laughs> in the Sims uh, without, you know, cheats and stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and do that and so she does have a son i think that's really cute friend of the world could work yeah because i do still want her to you know like friendly oh they're music lovers so they could like get along like that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give her a really quick makeover i like the name nora um last name hinkle sure that's cute but yeah like i said i'm gonna go ahead and give her a quick makeover So yeah, I went ahead and I edited um, her and I named her Nora and I edited her child as well, made him a toddler. So maybe we'll be able to meet him in the game too. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and have them talk a little bit. Maybe they can do some karaoke country. Why can we only do country? But I'll let them go ahead and do a duet if the game allows because I don't know. I haven't played... A base game in so long like I said you guys will just have to bear with me because clearly I am struggling with knowing how to do this game without you know cheating everything but like I said we'll see how that goes um, they're talking hanging out you're talking to them but you're all the way over here that doesn't even make any sense um, yeah ask him about your the volunteer at time at the school. 
school. He's very passionate about, you know, the kids he works with and stuff. I don't know why you're all the way over here when you can just talk. Dang, he said he's not volunteering. That's tough. Maybe he doesn't like kids or something. It's not that deep. Are you guys going to sing? Yeah, I could see them becoming pretty good friends, especially because, you know, they were talking a little bit and Nora is just a little bit further along in her life. She's a little bit older, not too much because, you know, they're super young, about 19, 20. Um, but Nora's a little bit older by a couple of years um, and she's been in San Maestrino for a little while. And so she'll be able to help show them around, get them to know other people. But it looks like they're getting along really well. I do want them to, you know, have friends, especially because they're so young. They're at the age where they want to go out and hang out with people and meet people um, and have friends. And so <laughs> that'll be cool for them to always um, have people that they can rely on and hang out with. So she's going to keep getting to know her. Um, but it is 12 o'clock. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have them go ahead and head home. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to him all the way over there? The bald man. But it looks like him and the bartender are um, getting a little close, becoming friends. Uh, he kind of got to know him not too much, but at least these are some acquaintances that they have. But yeah, like I said, they seem to be hitting it off. And why is my game lagging? But yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead um, and let them keep hanging out for a little bit longer. But we'll resume the game um, next time. But thank you guys for watching my gameplay. I hope you guys stay tuned for the rest of this series. Uh, but like I said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.